Hello everyone and welcome back to Petra where we are here with her and her pups and Loki of course and things could be better. Tycon's on 35% food, Pele's on 49, and neither Petra or Loki have very much hunger right now, so I am gonna squeak these pups out into the open, keeping a careful eye out for predators, but oh, and it looks like Loki's already set out on his own, okay. Well, he's eager to find some food, I just hope that he can. Uh, things have been difficult. Uh, unfortunately, we started with five pups and we're now down to two, mostly because of illness, but also because of an eagle. Petra's theory is that because she and her pups actually aren't native to Lost River, they and their father are all from Yellowstone. But during the winter, Petra got lost, separated from the rest of her pack, and wound up in Lost River, which is why she's here with Loki helping her. But because of that, maybe the illnesses here just aren't something that they have in Yellowstone. Something's a little bit different. They ended up being more severe, and unfortunately, two of our pups didn't make it. Now, Petra and Loki, who seems to be running around through the ghost town. I think he's maybe struggling a bit because the cattle ranch isn't available to us right now and that's normally where he's been getting his food. So we might, I think we're gonna stay split up for today though because Petra really wants to try and find uh, an elk or mule deer, a calf or fawn, or even a moose at this rate. Something she can carry back to the pups. Now Loki of course is a little young and inexperienced himself. Petra found out that not only was he too young to disperse, but he'd ended up on his own because he'd actually been orphaned. And uh, he managed to survive through his yearlinghood by hunting at the cattle ranch, but even though up until this point that seemed like a pretty safe thing to do, we learned last time that it's really not. There were some incredibly scary noises that have Petra questioning if she even wants to go back at all. But of course, with the current situation, she might not have much choice. So we're gonna sniff around, we're gonna try to find some food. Honestly, at this rate, we might have to hunt an adult mule deer if we can't find anything else, just whatever we can find. And we'll see what we can manage to figure out. Oh. I hear and see something. Okay, I'm actually gonna run the opposite direction of the um, the music that I just heard because I see something better. I see a moose calf. A moose calf would be big enough to feed our pups at least, and that's Petra's priority. She can go a little hungry. It's the pups that are really gonna start to struggle. Oh, this is gonna be more difficult on our own, but Loki's also looking for food. It doesn't look like he's found anything yet, but hopefully he will. I also don't want to stay away too long because we really weren't able to, um, to, to find, uh, we, we really weren't able to get the affinity up as high as I was hoping we'd be able to, so the puffs are gonna leave sooner than I'd like. All right, we might have to be risky here, get a bite or two while we have the chance. We just gotta make sure we don't take too many hits from the mother, but we're now at least on the run. Sometimes the mother moose, moose runs past like this, so that's good at least. We've got it down somewhat. Oh, she's trying to block us. That'll give us a good chance to go in and get a bite, though. Come on. All right, we gotta let go. Just a few more bites should do it, and I think we can get them now. Yes! All right. The pups should be safe, and in fact, I think Petra would call back Loki once she has let the pups eat, just so that he can eat his fill as well. Especially because he is pretty much still just a pup himself. Petra's gonna put his survival over even her own. Her job is to make sure that the younger ones stay safe, and she can go hunt for herself later if she needs to. She can handle starvation a little better than any of them will be able to. Poof, okay, we've made it back, and I think just in the nick of time, 
If we look here, we can see that Tykin's down to 28, which is the danger zone. He's going to start losing health soon. Fortunately, we're going to be able to feed him here and his sister Pele as well. And we will howl. Oops, I actually need to do our secondary here. We will howl for Loki because the pups probably won't finish an entire moose calf. There's only two of them. And usually a moose calf can feed... Oh, that must be dispersals. Usually a moose calf can feed almost a whole litter here, so I'm not too worried about that. But Petra's already quite tired, and unfortunately her own hunger is dropping significantly. She's at 50%. That's only going to keep going down from here, and although Petra really doesn't want to... The cattle ranch is right over that hill. That said, I think it's still too soon to go back. So we might uh, might have to wait for the next night. As long as we can find a way to hold out until then, I think we'll be okay. Oh, hello, Loki. You're just in the nick of time. There's the remains of this moose calf, and there is quite a lot of it. All right, that should get his hunger up a little bit more. Whew. I think it's doing Petra some good to see that Loki at least has been able to have a meal. Okay, he's up to 70%. That's going to go down overnight, but... It's better than nothing. Did he eat the entire thing? No, there's actually a little more. Oh, you can finish that if you'd like to. He's making sure his little siblings have the chance to eat. All right. Now, I want to make sure you've got plenty of chance to eat. Petra can handle her own hunger for a little while longer. We just need to be careful. Oh, that isn't good. Loki didn't want to eat the rest of that carcass, but Petra thought it would be better to save it to make sure the pups had something to eat when we woke up and we can go find better food for ourselves here. Unfortunately, it seems that the scent may have drawn in a bear. I don't even know where it is. Okay, it's over here. At least the pups are already in the grass. Okay. Oh, Loki. Loki definitely has spirit, that is for sure. Despite not being a full-blooded wolf, he's still not afraid to throw down with a bear, even though being part dog, I think, has made him a little bit smaller and weaker than your typical wolf. Loki, please be cautious. Please be careful. I don't want you getting yourself badly hurt. What he lacks in strength, though, he makes up for with stubbornness. He's not... Oh, goodness. But that's not going to help very much. You get... You get. Oh my gosh. Stubbornness isn't always the best. Okay, Loki. Oh no. Now you're hurt too. Please. Let's let your little little siblings here eat. At this point, I think it's safe to say that. Okay. Oh no, he is going to eat now. All right. I think Petra's fine with that. Goodness knows he could use the ability to heal right now. But at this point, I think it's safe to say that Petra pretty much considers him a son. Especially seeing as she hasn't really gotten to spend as much time as she would have liked with her own pups who'd be growing up. Pele, please don't. Uh, they wouldn't quite be as old as Loki, they're about a year younger, but even so... I think there's a part of her that's grateful she's at least gotten to give him a little help here. But Loki's up to 75. He's pretty badly hurt, actually. I think... Petra's gonna go looking for some food. She's gonna send the pups in the grass. Tykan, please go in the grass. Tykan? Sir? Thank you. I guess we'll grab a little bit of food here just for some extra strength, and then... Uh, Petra doesn't want to sniff around the cattle ranch, but I think she's going to. No, Loki, you're hurt. You need to stay here and recover. I don't want you getting into a worse scrape. If I find something and can bring it down, I'll bring you food then. We'll also check on the beavers, I suppose. But I think it's not been long enough for us to head back to the ranch. I think the cows will still be locked up. Well, there it is. 
I don't know, y'all. This seems a little bit risky to me. Petra's pretty uncomfortable with this. Maybe we'll just stick to the sides and see if we can get a good scent of things. We can't even smell the cows. And they do seem to disappear after we're able to hunt them. If we can get a scent of something, then maybe we'll stick our heads in there then. If not, I think it's going to be better to, to just be more cautious and go down to the beaver pond instead. Okay. We're just going to sniff around a little bit. The wind direction here is abysmal. We're just going to see if we can even see them, let alone find a way in. Between the poor wind direction and her dwindling energy, I don't think Petra's willing to take a risk tonight. It's just not worth it to go poking around in there to her, especially when it doesn't even seem like there are any cows in easy sight. She's just too jumpy to want to take that chance. And to be quite honest, that's probably the rancher's intent. The deterrents seem to be doing their job. Petra, at least for tonight, is going to seek out an alternative source of food. Okay, I do smell beavers, but we'll need to be quick about this because I think that uh, we might uh, be running low on stamina soon here. All right, this is the trail, I think. Oh, is there another one? There's not. We're just going to have to get as close as we can. Crouch. And then ambush it if we can. If we can get enough damage in from these first bites, then we may be fine. All right, it's going to attack us. And then... Oh, it's run away. Good, 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 good. It's gone further from the water. That was your mistake. All right, we just need to make sure we don't lose our stamina now, which is the biggest danger. It's still running further away. There we go. Can another bite do it? Oh, it's going to be close. Come on. Come on. Okay, we got it down. I'm gonna have Petra eat this because we know Loki's a little bit fuller on food, but she is gonna stick her head over to the other side. We know there's another beaver trail there as well, so if we can get some food for him, if we can bring him back a beaver as well, then I think we'll be out of this scrape. And sadly, there don't seem to be any other beavers. All right, is there anywhere the territory is decaying? Not that we need to worry about. We've still got a pretty good buffer. At least for now. Let's just sniff around and see if we can find any other elk or moose or anything. But if not, I think we'll be alright to rest for a little while longer. Well, unfortunately we didn't manage to find anything else to eat and we're pretty tired so I think we're just gonna let Petra rest here. But Loki's at least at 71% food. And the pups are not starving. In fact, if we can feed them, I think Petra is still going to regurgitate. They're a little old for this, but it'll keep their hunger up. And that's what's most important. Well, it's a good thing we got away from the ranch than we did. The sun's coming up. Maybe by the next night it will be safer, but Petra definitely has her doubts after the events of the previous attempt. Let's just make sure we rest up, and hopefully Loki will be feeling a little bit better, because if he is not, Petra's not letting him leap the den, or not the den, the rendezvous site. I don't think she's worried about him. Okay, another night is here, so we could check the ranch again, but Loki's still hurt, so... But I'm sorry to tell you, but... It's gonna be safer if you stay here. I do smell the jade and amethyst herds. Although, I suppose we could still poke our heads over there and see if the babies have joined them. I don't think they have yet. It's still a little light out, so Petra's gonna skim through the rest of the territory, I think. And if she finds anything else, she'll bring it back. Maybe she'll mark some of this territory. But, uh... There's a pickaxe somewhere over here. I just don't know, though, you guys. She's really having some mixed feelings about the ranch. But... It has been an easier source of food. Oh, okay, so the babies have not rejoined the herds yet. Oh, and this is an elk calf. Excellent. Okay. All right. This might be workable. Oh, and if there's a hair, I'll take that too. 
if we can find this elk calf and bring it back, that'll be good for the pups and for Loki. That'll keep their food up. And Petra can continue uh, her solo hunting as needed. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, 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 no. I missed it again. Gosh. Oh, goodness. Good thing she didn't catch up to us. All right. Well, we managed to get, get this elk calf. I guess it was the first elk calf that we've hunted. Now, Petra's breathing a little easier, I think. I suppose we'll still sniff around the ranch, but she's feeling a lot less urgent about it, and that makes her more comfortable because if things go south, she can dip out. It's not quite such a desperate matter as it was the last time. Okay, here you guys go. This should be just fine. We'll let Tykin and Pele eat. And there should be some left over for you too, Loki, which is good. You're still hurt after all. You need to keep your health up. Okay, I don't mind if he eats some. I think he'll leave some for the pups, but if not, he'll probably still end up feeding them. Yeah, I think so. Looks like it. Alright, they're all kind of trading off. Petra's satisfied that they'll be fine. Loki, you're staying back, right? Loki? Loki, I don't want you following me right now. You are still hurt. Please keep an eye on the pups. I know that it's not entirely safe. They could still be attacked, but it's safer than wandering off into the middle of who knows where and what danger with Petra. Especially with whatever funny business has been going on at the ranch. Ah, I wish the wind was from a better direction. It's making it hard to get a read on anything in the ranch. I suppose I can't always expect it to be easy, but Petra would definitely like to, um, to get a better grip on what's happening before she runs in. Oh. And maybe she just has. I smell cows. And that accursed dog, too. He must still be watching out for them. Well... If we find a quick getaway, I suppose we'll inch ourselves closer here. If we're able to find a good getaway, it could be worth sneaking in. Oh my goodness, that annoying music is still there. Alright, we need to be careful. I would like to know where the cows are, but... It doesn't seem like we can uh, figure that out too easily from here. The scent was further that way. Oh my goodness, it's back! Okay, no, 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 oh, I ain't hacking with that. Oh, no, 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 we're staying out of here. We are staying the heck out of there. All right. Y'all, ah, we keep running into the area. I think Petra might be done with the ranch, honestly. Whatever that is truly frightens her. She doesn't know how to explain it. She couldn't tell you what's going on. It just sounds like danger. And something tells her she's better off for not knowing. I think we're gonna check for another beaver, just see if we can find something else to fill up our bellies a bit more, but the pups are nearly full, Loki's nearly full. It's not worth it to go poking around back there, and I think she's going to advise Loki to do the same. She can't really stop him from doing what he wants. After all, he'll be officially ready to disperse this coming fall, and he may well make the choice to go back there himself. It's hard to say, but she's certainly going to advise him against it. He may have been successful with his hunting, but that doesn't mean he always will be, and... It seems that perhaps the ranch has changed since he was there, after all. He didn't remember the dog. 
Perhaps this year the ranchers come a bit more prepared. And Petra doesn't want to risk him ending up in a danger he doesn't know how to get himself out of. Oh, there is a beaver here. Oh, there's a couple beavers. Okay, I don't really care if I scare this one. I can't crouch right here. I can't crouch right here. Yeah, I don't care if I... I don't care if I, I scare the one on the side or even if I don't catch the one on the side. I'm gonna get closer to this one. Alright, come on. Alright, we gotta go grab. The farther away from the water is the better. This is a prey that Petra's better equipped to handle, although I say that and then she proceeds to get just like the the worst the wor like you normally you get at least three damage. She only got two of the, the bigger damage. This she may not actually catch this. Alright. No 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 no. We have to be careful here. I just want her stamina back up. I think we can still do it, but we're gonna have to probably get a couple of bites rapid fire. Oh, come on. Come on. No! No! Oh, no, 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 no! No, it's, it's in the water if we can scare it back out! We might be able to- Oh! We can we grab it? <laughs> she just bullies it back up onto the riverbank. Well, uh, everybody's, you know, everybody's fine on food. I think we're just gonna eat this. We're gonna stick with our familiar prey and head back to the rest of the pack. Okay, we made it back, and I think... The pups are... the pups are well fed enough. Let's send them back into the grass, and... Petra would then, I think, take Loki aside and give him... a strong warning about what she just experienced. It's not an admonition, it's just a warning that the ranch does not seem safe to her, and... She would feel more comfortable if they don't go back. It served them well through the beginning of the year, but whatever they're up against, there is something that Petra truly does not understand. It's a world so very different from her own, even more different than the rest of Lost River. And she recognizes that. She's out of her depth, and when possible, she feels it would be better to play it safe. So let's sleep the night, and come day, we'll see if we can find some more familiar prey and maybe get in a few last hunting lessons for Loki. Oh, well that's good news. All right. Pups are a little hungry. I think I want to keep them in the grass there. Oh boy. All right. We probably should do some territory marking too. I agree, Loki, and I know you're eager to go. You're not that hurt anymore, so I suppose we may as well head out and hopefully really get some food this time. But we're gonna have to move fast. We're not hungry, at least, but we've got a lot of ground to cover. There's something weird up here. We've got a little more time. I don't know if Petra would want to bring this all the way back. Oops. How do I even get up here? Come on. There we go. There's something here. I just want to go grab it. Can we get it? There we go. It's a toy airplane. What a curiosity. Smaller than expected, huh? Well, it's an interesting little thing to be certain. I don't, uh... I don't know that she... Yeah, that's... Loki's ears going back there is about how she feels about it. It's a little bit of a weirdity. And I think, um... I think she'll leave it there for now, maybe come back and get it. If they weren't going to find food right now, she probably would bring it back. But for the time being, I think that uh, she's a little preoccupied. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? I'm just hunting some mule deer and there's apparently wolves lurking about. I don't know of what variety they are either. Where did this mule deer go? Oh, stranger wolves, excuse? Lost River, what? What? What do you mean Lost River's here? Oh no, you don't. You guys get out of here. Get out of here. That's why my territory's decaying. You guys are the culprits. Yeah, you go. You get. I'm gonna bite your tail for warning. Go on. Leave. 
it's a little bit more important than the mule deer, I think. We can go back for those. Get out. All right. And just for good measure, putting our scent post right here. Oh, there's more dogs over here. <laughs> there's a little one, just like the one at the ranch. Oh, and Loki doesn't seem sure what to do with them. He definitely seems a little bit jumpy around the dogs. I don't know. Some, I've, I've seen some theories about whether or not his pack is still around. I suppose, truly, we may not know for sure. Loki's pretty convinced that, uh, that they're dead. I think it's left him rather conflicted against others of, well, part of his own kind. He kind of doesn't seem sure where to fit in. I'm not sure that he's really thought about whether or not any of his pack might be out there after all. They were attacked by Lost River and it didn't seem likely to him that any of them survived, but then again, the river holds its secrets. Right now, he's sticking close to Petra, so I'm not sure if we'll have much chance to find out, but who knows? Loki is a pretty young wolf. He's not even quite ready to disperse, but he will be by fall. Who knows what his story might hold. Oh, we found a baby. I think this is an elk? Yes, indeed. Well, I suppose we will give this to Loki here. She just oh, ate some dirt in the background. Okay, then. Now, I did also see a mule deer, though, so I'm wondering if perhaps... Okay, good. Yeah, that'll probably um, recover him quite well here. Uh, but I think if we go up this way, we should be able to... Um... I never mind. We're not screwing around with that, then. Uh, we gotta book it back home. Okay, okay, we're pretty close. I see them both still in the grass. That was a little closer than I would have liked it to be. Now, I think Petra would still like to bring back some more food. Loki's... Loki's got a lot, though, so maybe we'll be alright for now. In fact, yeah, I think we'll go ahead. As long as we can feed them enough here, or at least some, I think we can sleep the night. And with that, and Petra determining that the ranch is probably too dangerous to go back to, I think we're going to go ahead and leave this off here for today. It's definitely going to be a change for the pack, and we'll see if they're able to stick to it. Petra's definitely been worried by the dwindling number of baby ungulates she's been finding around. They seem more challenging here than on the slopes of Yellowstone to her. But we'll go ahead and address that problem on another day. The pups are pretty, pretty close to growing up, though. 18 and 19, so we're definitely getting there. I think Pele is probably a runt, but we'll have to see come the end of the litter. That said, we're going to go ahead and leave this off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.